Hey guys, it's Fezador. At long last, here is another video. It's been several months, I know. Thank you for bearing with me, but today I have a super special treat for you. Today marks the day that Sigil, the fifth episode that John Romero has promised us for a long, long time since like last December, it's finally out for the general public. So today I am going to do the first level for you on ultraviolence and this okay so before we proceed this level name is called Baphomet's Domain or Demean however you pronounce it so Baphomet is basically a demon like the demon head that you see in Doom a lot um, and Domain just a little trivia it comes from French I believe it means like a state or abode so it just basically means demons abode basically so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and get this party started so let's go ahead and uh, tackle this level um, I hope you enjoy it as much as I did this is a very tough first level it's probably comparable to E4 M1 difficulty wise uh, hell beneath it doesn't have as many monsters and even the monster difficulty it's mostly imps and gunners and occasional uh, demon and lost soul but the way that they're placed it makes it very demonic and there's a lot of traps so there's uh, uh, there's some trickery involved if you want to call it that like there's a lot of puzzles here so it's kind of half monster fighting half puzzles it's not as crazy as uh, Geek to Limbo E3 M M7 as far as puzzles confirm uh, is confirm, um, as concerned rather um, I'm just so excited to get my words mixed up so please bear with me but anyway um, with that being said um, yeah it's, it's a nice mixture of puzzles and fighting so I'm gonna go ahead and get underway. We're getting we're under attack right away, so I gotta move quickly. So grab the shotgun there. I think there's four imps and a specter. Alright, three of the four imps are down. Grab the shotgun shells and take out the specter. Now that specter can be hard to find if you're not paying attention, so I actually just lost him a second ago, but he's around. There he is. The lighting is just perfect, I think. Okay, so you don't see anything right there. There's no place to go. It's an enclosed area. You'll see a theme here for this level. You see these eye-looking things right here, and I'm lagging right now, so I do apologize for that. I'm not sure what's causing that, but I'm a little laggy today. Um, but you shoot the eye, and it opens up a brand new region. Come on, lag. Take out the gunners. Before we proceed, there is a secret we're going to find. I'm going to go back up here, and we'll shoot this eye for the to uh, raise this platform up so we can go to the next platform. But I'm not going to go there just yet. I'm, I'm going to go up here, and we're going to take this secret. This one just raised when we shot the eye, by the way. So we're going to hug this wall and tread very carefully and slowly up here so we don't fall off. Thankfully, the damage you take is minimal. I think it's only 5%. Grab, take out the gunner. Okay, so here's our first secret. We finally marked it, or tagged it. We got the Soul Sphere, finally. Okay, so now we're going to come up here on top. That's what she said. All right, take out that gunner that we see over there. That is the only health we get for the entire level, by the way. Oh, come on. Okay, so to proceed, we're going to need to um, shoot that eye. And here comes the next lever, <laughs> next platform. I'm getting my words mixed up. I am just beyond excited for this. There we go. The soul is dead. Take out a couple of gunners. A couple of imps. This is basically what you're going to get in this level. It's not a crazy amount of imps or a crazy amount of monsters. It's mostly lower level monsters like gunners, imps, lost souls, so on and so forth. Okay, um, I need to get that. It's Technically that's not part of the item count right there, but I need to go ahead and grab that uh, radiation suit because uh, that is another secret if I'm not mistaken. So let me go ahead and drop back down. Alright, I'm going to go back to where I was, hug the wall, go slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Go around. 
all the way. Okay, and I'm gonna hug this wall. To let me. There we go. Take out the soul. Next secret is tag. Awesome. Okay, and for a third secret, right over here, they'll take us to a chain gun. Thank goodness for the radiation suit. I think it's 5%. Like I said, it's not a super damaging, but it all adds up, and we don't get much help. Get back up, just take that lift. And there's another eye right there. We'll shoot that. And here comes the next platform. Okay, so I think there's a trap of four imps, I believe. So I don't want to go too far ahead because there is another trap beyond that which contains some lost souls and a cacodemon. Yep, there's the lost souls. Okay, there's, yep, there it is. He's just kind of stuck there. Okay, so there's the Kakadim. I woke him up. I'm going to go... Well, I'm going to save my chain gun ammunition. I got shotgun shells to spare. Because um, at the very end, the chain gun will be very handy. Okay. So I just want to check where my next platform switch is, if it's on there. So let me blow this up. Um, okay, the secret's right there. Grab that, but I don't think there is another platform switch for a while. Yeah, there we go. That's the only health I got, so I'm going to start off with 56% health at best for the next level, so I'm hoping this will be enough. Alright, so we're going to open this door up, and that should be all the secrets and all the items, so all we got left are about eight monsters, so we're about three quarters done. Awesome. Alright, take out the imp. There's the demon. All right, so we're gonna get those shot shotgun shells. Lower the lift there by hitting the switch. Take out the demon. All right, so, and here's a nasty trap come up here, so the chain gun will probably work better because there's a khaki demon, a couple of gunners, and there's no room to work. Leave that daggum thing around. And that's it. All right, 100% all the way around, so we're going to hit the Baphomet switch and call it good. Baphomet's domain finished. That just gives you an idea how crazy this episode is, and to be honest, I haven't even played level 2 yet. I'm just as far as you are, unless some of you have already picked it up and gotten further than I have, if you got, like, the, uh, uh, the collector's edition. But, yeah, that's... man, <laughs> that's fun. I mean, that's just classic Romero, just crazy good detail... You know, it's not so much the quantity, it's the quality, and it's very high quality. I'm, I'm really enjoying this so far. Um, I think it might be slightly easier than E4M1 just because the monster count is lower, um, but there's just so many traps and so many puzzles in there that um, it's, it's more tricky than hard, I would say. It's like E4M1 is hard. This is tricky. Like, if you don't know what to do, it takes, you know, you got to get used to the layout of this. I mean, there's... Um, it's it's tricky because um, you, you have to know where to go. Like you have to hit those little eye-looking dealy whoppers there, the symbols, um, in order to raise the next platform to get to the next area. Um, there's not a lot of health. There's one soul sphere, which is a lot more than you could say in E4M1. You got like nine total health that entire map, so uh, that definitely saved my life. But another thing is there's no armor on here, so that's definitely gonna hurt. Um, so we're going to keep this going. Now, I am going to give you a little heads up. I may not necessarily do my uh, videos sequentially. Um, I am planning to do Switch Room, and I do plan to finish up um, Congestion 1024, that last map. I just kind of gave up on it for a while because it's insanely difficult. Um, I plan on doing it one day. Um, but that one was just on a hiatus, but I do want to give you a little something. I was waiting to do Sigil. I'm glad it's out. Um, I hope you're as excited as I am for the next one, and uh, I will be talking to you guys next time. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. All right, take care, everybody. And we'll do Shale coming up next.